This episode of The Modern Rogue is brought to you by Roman. Head on over to GetRoman.com slash Rogue, R-O-G-U-E. Talk to a professional, and when you do get treatment, get $15 off and keep us in business. And you can get back to business. This is essentially what it's going to look like. Now you have to make sure that you're giving yourself enough space in the middle because you're going to sleep there. The wider base you get, of course, the lower the ceiling is going to be. So here, uh, uh, tilt that one a little bit farther back. But we have to lash them together first. Uh, lash them together first? So what, what yeah. we set them like down yeah, here? Yeah, we just set them side by side. Okay. And then we, uh, here, I'll get some rope. Oh, so you don't crisscross them to begin with. No, you start no. Them. Ah, yeah, we're just gonna get them. Pretty sneaky, sis. Here, let's, let's get them like that. All of the instructions online were, time together. Uh, <laughs> sure, let's time together. <laughs> if only we had done an episode on knots. I was just thinking this morning, wow, I forgot how to do all those knots. Yep, me too. I am not doing a complicated knot. You wanna do a little bit more? Let's, let's uh, do more. Are you sure? I, I, I don't I, even know that we need more. I kinda wanna get something that threads through all of these. Yeah? Yeah. It's kind of like that. Okay, all right. That seems like that's gonna hold, right? <laughs> that's pretty loose right there. That's fine. That seems like it's fine, give or take. Don't touch it. <laughs> Don't touch <laughs> <That's> it. <right. laughs> so you got the beginnings. Where, where do we go from here? Now we're going to need to select a bunch more of these branches slash logs and stack them up all around. So if you don't have rope, I'm assuming you could use grass for that? Uh, yeah, I've seen a lot of people use like grass or vines or things like that. That worked well, so I think our crappy rope job <laughs> should work. I mean, yeah, right? And I guess the more of these that are sitting on each other, the more structurally secure it gets. I know that's how it is with, and this is probably not the best analogy, a house of cards, but each unit laying on another helps to bolster and secure it. It actually feels pretty sturdy. Right? I'm starting to- He says before he's crushed to death. In this case, we're fortunate in that there happen to be a bunch of these logs ready to go. Yeah, these have just been sitting out on the property waiting for a moment just like this. So now we're at the part where a bunch of these shorter guys are valuable to fill in the gaps. Yeah. Okay, so if it's raining, we're still in trouble here, right? Oh yeah, this is porous <laughs> to say the least. So looking from the inside actually gives you a pretty good view of what needs to be filled in. So here, Jason, this guy right here. All right. This guy right here, this guy right here. Yep. And I think everything else is small enough that we can cover it with brush or dare I say, Brushwood. <laughs> now I can imagine if you're doing this from scratch out in the wilderness, you would not have the time or the energy. You would not cut all of these. Yeah. In our case, it took 30 minutes. But if you're doing it with just whatever you've got on you out in the wilderness, it's going to take you all day to get this far. But if you had all day, you would find some natural felled trees. You would yeah. find some that naturally are the right shape. Your, mm -hmm. your hands would be hamburger by the time you ripped off all of the branches. What's the next phase? We're gonna get some smaller debris, not quite like leaves and stuff like that, but we wanna get like thatches of branches, almost like if we could find like palm fronds, not that we'll find that out here. It's like you would fan someone with, I think, lots of flat like branches, still with the leaves on them if you can get them. And you just really wanna cover it. Normally in the woods, I assume you would spend all day foraging, ripping off fresh branches. It turns out that they just cleared two acres of trees, so we Perfect. can just grab this. Perfect. <sighs> okay, so this is what, phase two? This is phase two, it gets a little trickier here, taking all of this and just kind of layering it on the outside. Really the goal is just to cover up all the gaps. Yeah, okay, all right, we can do this. Yeah. Look at this, you just tuck it in and it just stays there. That seems to work pretty well. You don't want to leave any gaps so that, you know, creepers, zombies, and chuds can't get in. <laughs> okay, so like, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, look at that. Got that hooked in, got that hooked in. Dude, Jason, I don't want to jinx it, but I think we're gonna do something good. We, we don't normally, this is not normally our bag, I know. We're actually doing something right? But shh, you wouldn't expect it, but you can really see what a difference it makes to have all these these things filling in the gaps. That's awesome. All 
All right, so what's the last phase? The last phase is small debris that we're gonna pile up from the bottom going up to the top. Like, you know, big piles of leaves and such. Okay, so in the woods, you're gonna look for a giant pile of uh, chipper shredder waste. Yeah. Find your, clo your nearest construction site. So the starting at the bottom, I assume that's to like build up a pile that you eventually cover everything with. But if we're not gonna totally cover this thing, it feels like waiting to the end to get the stuff on top seems crazy. Like, can I see what happens if I just throw this on there? I don't see why not. I mean, that's kind of a thing, right? Sure. Dude. Ready to call it? I think so. I mean, okay, so I'm in here right now. Everything is secure. There's a couple of gaps, but I don't know that rain would come in. There's a fair breeze. We got a storm coming in and you don't feel any of it right here. I think we made an effective shelter. And there's our core right there with yeah. <laughs> the knot. You ready for the rain? Are we gonna test it? <laughs> you seem excited. <laughs> it's gotta happen. Oh, we gotta do it though, right? Ugh. All right, Murphy, it's time for the big test. Yeah, I'm going in. Ah. Smells good. Oh no, a storm approaches. A, a storm that will eventually fill up this hose that's very long. It, there it is. All I right. hear thunder. It's raining on you now. You know, most of it is coming in through the opening here. Well, here, I'll go, I'll get farther back to be fair. Yeah, there's some drops coming through, but again, most of it's just blowing in through the opening in the door. One thing that I think we could have done better is put more of the branches here and narrowing our opening because we've got a spot pretty much directly above the center of our shelter that's coming down right in the middle of it. So if you want to stay dry, oh, there we go. We got some leaks. We got leaks? We got some leaks, nothing bad, but enough to make it uncomfortable. All right, how about now? Oh, you <laughs> son of a... <laughs> I'm a bad person. <laughs> I won't like spray it right in here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> Dude, we made a good shelter. It's, it's a good bad. shelter. Your turn. <laughs> I see a tarp, I see a bungee cord, I see I see a hammer. And, a, a, and paracord, paracord and, and sticky doodles. Got it. Stakes. Okay, now this would be something that you could easily carry like your bug out bag, right? You're not setting up your campfire, barbecue, your lawn chair, DJ Roomba, anything like yeah. that. We're gonna take this and tether it around a tree. Like, yeah, just, it and it depends on how high you want your shelter to come up. I would imagine that you just want enough to cover your body. I'm gonna make it pretty low here, yes. right? Flat ground, low profile. Okay, all right, I'm with you so far. So you got your bungee. Yep. That's your main anchor point, I guess you could say. This is some paracord that doesn't have an end, apparently. <laughs> it's a forever cord. It's a forever <laughs> cord. I suppose the big questions are how many anchor points and how secure do you make all this? Well, we're gonna start with our first main axis, right? Yes. Do we have any sort of cutting implement? You know what's funny is I did, but I emptied my pockets before we <laughs> shot this. <laughs> Here, we wanna cut it how long? A little bit, so probably like less than a foot because we're gonna take it through one of these eyelets. Yeah, we'll figure this out. All right. Ugh. You're gonna cut down the tree before this thing breaks. <laughs> I think it works. I had an idea I that it was a good one. <laughs> we didn't have to call the lock picking lawyer or nothing. <laughs> oh, this sucks. This sucks. You got it, man. No, I don't want to be a ninja hobo. I, I, I changed my mind. Ninja hobo. I have a foot of paracord. God, we're doing great so far. I think so. <laughs> I'm feeling optimistic, man. All right. This is gonna be just as good <laughs> as the improvised backpack. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. 
one of us is not having that problem. One of us is doing okay. One of us didn't just shit himself live on camera. <laughs> there are probably tarps that are less loud. Yeah, it just doesn't feel very ninja-like. We need to take that part. Yep. Camouflage side up. Yep. Okay, we're gonna take like one of the corners and tie it here. Can we just, uh, just do that? Yeah, right. Hey, well, good job with the paracord, though. That was... <laughs> Why did I do the paracord? You know what? Here, what if we did this? Mm -hmm. Here, take that Yep. Yep. long way around, right? Oh, there we go. And then bring this guy in. There you go. Yep, right? yep, yep. And then what? Just, just kind of hook him to... Yeah? No? No. Um, no? How did I mess that up? Hmm. Uh, was okay. that a magic trick? <laughs> it's a bad magic trick. <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> yeah, all right. Now... This is meant to be done in like under a couple of minutes. We yes. already failed, but that's okay. Ah, no, no, no. It's the editing. modern road. Editing. Oh, editing. That's right. Power time travel. Wait, we're not even going to like run anything underneath. We're just going to hook it into the ground over yonder. Exactly. Really simple. Ninja right? style. Yeah. So what okay. we're going to do okay. right. is we're going to take the opposite eyelet, right? The opposite eyelet. Sounds like a villain in the Fantastic Four. All right, I see where this is going. You got it? Yeah. So stretch it out, stick yeah. it down. Okay. Like that, right? Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Most importantly, you have to carry around a random one foot segment of paracord the entire time. Well, just, yeah, you know, you yeah. never know. As one does. Yeah, there we go. So are we laying on the ground in this scenario or yes. do we fold it over? Uh, there's probably a way we can fold it over and make it a little more comfortable. Look. Just tr uh, try this on for size. You try it, okay. I'm just saying, Okay. like what if that's laying down there? Yeah. And what if you got another one of those? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Are you seeing it? This right? is actually one of the variations if you want to give yourself a vertical wall. Oh, there we go. Okay. Boom. Uh, wow. Nope. Well, no. you know. Okay. No. Okay. All right. <laughs> Try again. Ugh. I mean, it definitely delivers on the fast part. Yeah. Look at that. Look yeah. at that. And now. Oh, and then you slam that one down. Right here. Yeah. Get down in there. You're watching Netflix in no time. You're yeah. checking out the Queen's Gambit. You're like, whoa, that that girl's cuckoo for chess. Not gonna lie, that was very fast, fairly stealthy feel like you'll be able to get out of there very, very quickly. Is there smoke? There's, wait, there's fire. Wait, 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 wait. Get ready, get ready. You're gonna light a leaf. The moment, it, the moment it really goes. Holy cow, char cloth really works. This is incredible. Wait, why, why, why is it, why is it singeing on the sides? I don't understand char cloth. Oh, I, 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 there must be metal in there that's conducting stuff. Oh, oh, get, uh, get those leaves in there. Uh, quick, quick, build a teepee. Is it burning? I, I think, I, I mean, there's smoke, but I can't find fire. Get it back on the char cloth. We were almost there. What is the char cloth made of? That's a great question, Brian. What is char cloth? Well, it's not metal, if that's what you were thinking. In fact, it's made out of vegetable fiber. So not synthetic fibers, it's organic. We're talking about cotton, we're talking about linen. In fact, you can make your own char cloth quite easily. There are a billion tutorials out there. All you have to do is take a strip of 100% cotton shirt or a strip of denim, put it into a can and cook it for a little while. Think of the way that you turn wood into charcoal. It uses the process of pyrolysis and it's basically the same thing. You're taking cloth and turning it into char cloth. It works really well with things that make sparks. So however you like to do that, whether it's a ferrocerium rod, flint and steel, welding, banging rocks together. I, I don't know how people make sparks. Now, one question still remains. Why did it start burning from the edge first? Well, bit of a trick question there because it didn't. I did a little bit of detective work, a little bit of sleuthing, and it was a subtle visual, so I don't blame Brian for missing it, but it did start burning from the center first, where the point of light was, where the source of heat was. It then took about 20 seconds to radiate out towards the edge. Once it got to the edges, it started burning more brightly. That's when Brian noticed it. Ah, 
but technically cotton is a form of metal. I don't want to blow your mind. There's crystalline and amorphous it's not, substances. I promise it's this one, not in this case, metal. Hold on, I, I'm not So you want to kind of create like a, I don't know, like a furnace basically, like an oven. You want to protect all that heat and keep the heat going. It does not take much to ignite that char cloth at all. That is the remarkable part to me. I've never messed around with char cloth before. This stuff is amazingly fragile. Oh, oh, there's fire. I just did, I just did the 2001 monkey oh, thing. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> all right, here we go, keep up. Okay, so now we just need a whole bunch of tinder. Oh, you know what? We've got some of this oh. that we could use. Well, that, that seems like that would be helpful. <laughs> just throw all this crap on there. There, go. Go. I shaved that myself. No, no you didn't. <laughs> You've never even seen a yak. <laughs> you probably should have started with this. In general, begin with the ending in mind. How's that for advice? That's advice I just Wait. made up. Ah! We did it! We did the thing! We made fire! It's true! We did it with fire! <laughs> <laughs> That's hot! <laughs> Confirmed! Fire exists! Legend come, tested! Come that Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah come yeah, on. Bleep that out. <laughs> bleep out what I said. <laughs> All right, we got to learn more ways to start fire. You're supposed to get in close. I, I see that in the... Uh, wait, see, see, okay, then you do that, yeah. right? Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah! Yeah, yeah okay, care! Okay. Take that, yaks! Why are you still attacking? Because it's going out. Attack the yak. No, it's fine. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. All right. So now, now you want to put you want to put more of the the little uh, twi twigs and needles on there. Here you go. Yeah. No, it's still going. It's, look, we got oh, is it. it. We, we got already it. won. We we defeated the the mini boss. It, yeah, we, we, yeah. It's like I said the words, we defeated the mini boss. <laughs> and you're like, let me fix that. Just, no, more fire, Brian. No, you have to wait until. Oh, the... <laughs> oh that's how it works. All that's right. how fire works. That's one more. Uh, legend tested. Legend. Ferrocerium <laughs> rods actually work. Maybe we wouldn't die in the wilderness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that means we don't, probably Don't would. get ahead of yourself. Yes. And there you go. Now, you're, you're giving some tension to it, right? Yeah. What happens is you've got some bait right in here. So once somebody gets in and touches it, then it flings up. We tie this loop to... We tie this to the branch? Yep. And we tie one end of this snare to the branch. So they're separate, but both triggered by the same spring. Exactly. And so when this gets triggered like that, the toggle stick slips out of the Y branch. This is keeping the branch from going up, right? Oh man. So the branch pulls up and it pulls the snare with it. Okay. Uh, you've got a lot of confidence in this work. Okay. Easy peasy, <laughs> man. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Okay, very gently. Yep. This is the part where it could whip and hit me. You want me to do it? Nope. Because I don't care. Uh, no, you don't. <laughs> Locking away very gently. The injury counter is floating above your head. I just wanted to let you know. I just wanted to let you know that I see it. Okay, relaxing, relaxing, relaxing. Yep. Holy shit, that is a set trap. It is. Okay, 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 <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, we got it. This I'm is it. I'm gonna run so many experiments on this thing. <laughs> uh, well, first he has to just, you know, innocently be hopping through the forest. Do, 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 changeling on a walk. Don't find me. I'm gonna very gently put him in there. Do, do, do. Oh, what's that? Human food? Are you ready? Yes, three, two, one, go. I'm looking for humans. I'm a changeling. <laughs> <laughs> You've been disarmed! Oh. I'll bet if we move that farther up on the branch, we would get some more tension. You, you want to try to really fling him? Yes, I do. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> Trap is set. Okay, this is the big one. <laughs> Set him gently in the snare. Just one foot. Yeah. There we go. Okay, and they just sort of lead him. There you go. So, okay, you ready? All right, so let's say he's just over there. Get ready to go for a ride, buddy. Ah, oh, you're looking for a human to eat? Get out of here, changeling. 
Nope. <laughs> Hey, Changeling, my old saying was, go away, bad guys. My new one is, go. <laughs> Hammer this in. Yeah. Now I've seen people use rocks or stumps that were already there. All right. Here you want to take it. Give me some bends. See if that. Yeah. I think it'll hold. Certainly enough to yank out a stick, right? Ooh. Or I don't know. It, you know what we could do? Get some rocks. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. As long as we get some tension in there. Exactly. Okay, so I guess we, what, tie off a string on this? We're gonna need to tie two strings to this. One of them will go into our prop stick that we're gonna put under here. There we go. So, yeah. I mean, at this point, that'll be fine, right? I think so. Pop up, and what we're gonna do is a rock here. Yep. We're gonna get that stake in there. Now you don't want your stake sticking out too much. Because you want, you want it lower than the prop stake, right? Yeah, exactly, because this could keep the animal from getting crushed. And we want him nice and dead. Yeah. <laughs> All you want is a pissed off squirrel. Nobody needs that. Okay, how do you set up the trigger on that though? Very carefully. <laughs> What we're gonna do is we're gonna tie the little bait stick here and it's gonna go like right there. How's it gonna stay up like that? It's gonna be pretty precarious, right? So I'm gonna tie it around here. You wanna leave it like a little loose. Okay. All right, I'm adding tension. Yep. All right. It seems to be set. Okay. So if this thing gets touched, it's gonna fling this out. And we want, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold on. Okay. Oh, geez, it's very precarious yeah. and balanced. Oh. oh, wait, wait, I think we got it. I think we got it. Okay. All right, dude, this is the one totally unnecessary string because we got lunch coming. <laughs> oh, I'm hungry too. All right, what is this guy? Oh, All right. he's, he's not having a good time. It's, it's, it's been a rough day. It's been a rough day at the wilderness rack. I guess the irony is that you have to put bait out. I guess it's bait you don't want. It's yeah. like walnuts or something. <laughs> he crawls on his back. Yeah, that's uh, oh, oh, come on, baby. We get oh. it. He made it. Uh, <laughs> you live. He lives to see another day. Here you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mmm. Yummy, yummy. Oh, I love food. I love to eat food. I escaped again. <laughs> <laughs> Who likes oh. fruit roll-ups? <laughs> oh. Anyway, not as precarious. Just gonna cozy up for a moment. Thought. Oh. He's nibbling on it. He escaped again. I think we have a, not so much a hair trigger. All right, I'm gonna feel these. Yeah, they're both tense. I'm just gonna throw them in there. All right, do it. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> so in this case, our failure is that there's not enough tension on this to pull this out. Yeah. But, 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 I mean, for some principle, he's there, this pulls, and then, oh my God, that's on there really okay. tight. What I'm gonna do is, uh, you know what? Yeah, let's pull this like. Wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, there we go, this is about to drop. And let's get the string up here. Whoa, I see. Ah. You okay? Yeah. Splinter? Uh, it's fine. Are you bleeding? It's fine. Okay, he's fine. Reset the injury counter. Oh! Here, let's. Uh, now I'm bleeding all over myself. So the big change is Bryce suggested that we not have both of them be tense, which makes sense because you want that to have momentum 
to yank this guy out, right? Exactly. Yeah, so that, okay. I think that's uh, a better idea. What can I do? You want me to hold uh, anything? Pray. Okay. Actually, here, help me with the rock. All right, Crom. There we go. Ooh. Uh. Ah. Uh. Okay, I'm not holding it. We're good? We're good. Oh, I think we got it. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, we're gonna plant the bait of AOL CDs. Come on, I'm hungry. <laughs> Please, come on. Got it. Oh. <laughs> okay. So okay. this this is a case where the rock is just so heavy that it's secure, that we need extra. This is why you need a springy thing to yank it out. I have an idea. You're just gonna kick it. No, no. we're, gonna, we're <laughs> gonna try the other one. Do you wanna try that? Oh, is that a different? This is the method that I was talking about earlier where it oh. just swats the stick out from under it. How are we gonna secure that on? Uh, we just shorten the rope. It's the same same principle with the trigger, and it just hits it physically. Unfortunately, I don't think that'll snag on there. It's just gonna slide, that rope will slide right off. I think if we just cut a little notch in there to keep it held. Uh. Aha! We gotta reset it. So you gotta get it on the other side yep. of the stick. All right, now this okay. is gonna work. I swear. Oh, okay, hold on. Okay, varmint. You get in there and you get that candy. <laughs> We're gonna get you this We're time. Set up a roll of pennies. Who loves a roll of pennies? Come on, buddy. We got this. Come on, buddy. so much more satisfying Victory. than I dared hope. Yes! Now, of course, you, know, you gotta have sun to do this, right? It's gotta be daylight. It doesn't work nearly as well with cloud cover, but you can use the finder, the aim finder. What do they call it? Uh, what? Well, the aiming it, hole. <laughs> That's what they call it. This I didn't make that up. Okay, all right. Try this. Hold your hand out flat. I'm gonna give just a perfect reflection. Now, I'm looking straight through the hole, and when I have it exactly centered, I'm looking at the reflection, and there's no glow. If it starts to get off-center, then it starts to glow in those circles around the aim those finder. Those sentinels scream. So if you have it exactly lined up, you'll be able to see it. And if you get slightly off, then these guys say, hey, you're too far off to this side, or you're too far off to this side, or you're too far off to this side. But where it really matters is when you don't have a frame of reference. When you're looking up at the sky, it's like, well, how do I know where I'm aimed? For example, you can see that there's an airplane flying. If I wanted to aim for it, I would have to use only the sentinels. So the sentinel mm -hmm. tells me I'm too, uh, too far down and to the left, right? right? Mm -hmm. So if I wanted to do is get at that. Oh, look, you can see it. You can see it up in the trees there. Yep. Right yep. below I see there. It. Mm -hmm. So, so this is, the sentinels are telling me it's down and to the right. And so I would go just, a, uh, somebody is very annoyed in first class <laughs> right now. <laughs> and it's important that you have that level of accuracy and precision with aiming because you're really going to be doing this for someone who is miles away, like out of earshot, right? Because some of these reflections can go for several miles to get someone's attention. So we are just under four miles away. The good news is that there's a mailbox that I can prop to try to get a, you know, a nice direct line of sight with some precision. If I need to take my shirt off to give you a brighter target, just say the word. Ah! All right, I'm gonna set down the walkie-talkie, but tell me if and when you see it, all right? Copy that, scanning the horizon now. <laughs> I was right! 11 o'clock, there it is. All right, this is base. I see you. Repeat, I see you. You've got to be freaking kidding me. For reals? Here, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try, try to do the three flashes. It is definitely someone trying to send a message. It's not three flashes. It's a series of staccato pulses. Erratic, but definitely deliberate. Dude, that is phenomenal. Four freaking miles away. All right, I'm gonna try to give you the longest, smoothest pulse I can.
It's still a flickering burst, but it is much more sustained. It doesn't look like you're directly on us, but it is flashing and brighter uh, more uh, continuously than before. And I can't stress how unmistakable and remarkable it is from up here. Dude, I'm calling it legend tested. Uh, this, this stuff is powerful and will save your life. All right, I don't know if we got one of the big worms, but we got a lot of little worms, what I assume are mosquito larvae in there. We're seeing swimmers, we got pond scum, we got sediment, and who knows how much bacteria, probably some kind of chemical contamination as well, right, from runoff? Oh, there's probably any number of bad things in here, but uh, the question is, do you want to drink the water of life and become the Kwisatz Haderach? No, no, drink no, of, no! Drink from it, Paul Atreides. I will not fear. Fear is the mind kill. Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. So you don't want to sip this and give us a before after? Uh, no. I don't want you to either. A before after life is what it would be. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, so I assume first thing we want to do is filter out kind of the obvious muckety muck on there. Well, first thing, we're going to set this off to the side so that uh, as much of the particulate as possible sifts to the bottom. So the first kind of filtration is just gravity. Yeah, and in the meantime, we're going to be making our actual filter gross 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 lots of gross stuff so yeah we've got some charcoal in here but it's i mean it's looking much better, right? Okay, so what mini bosses have we defeated? I assume worms of a certain size, it's, parasites it, of a certain size. Yeah, we're getting out everything that's not microscopic, right? I don't see anything crawling or swimming in there, so that's gonna be the most important But at this thing. point, still not safe to eat. Safer, but not safe. Exactly. So we've got about a third of a liter right here. We're gonna add some iodine tablets. Now this is the purification part. Yeah, what is iodine? Do we know? We uh, don't know. We just know it's the thing that makes water pure. If it's in your eyes, wash it out. Call poison control. Do not give anything to an unconscious person. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get extra iodine flavored water. All right, we'll give it a few minutes. I'm sure it'll be fine. God, I just don't wanna, please, Dear Lord, let me die without a headline that says, an ill-advised stunt YouTuber dies. Well, we did it. We have the world's worst lemonade. That doesn't look good. Okay, so what next? Okay, let's put it in this microwave-safe glass. All right. A lot of times you're out there in the wilderness and you want to do iodine or you want to boil your water. Other times you're hosting a YouTube series and you want to do both. Yeah, I don't want something horrible Did turning my brain worms? to mush. Those worms! I don't want those in my brain, okay, man. Okay, all right, all right, here, let's... So when you're out in the woods, just grab yourself a microwave. Yeah, yeah, they grow wild in certain parts of the United States. Okay. How long is sufficient? To boil it? Yeah. Uh, let's do like... Four minutes. Sure. Is it still boiling? What, what was that sound? Oh, that was <laughs> me taking my hand off the thing. Okay. <sighs> All right. Is it moment of truth time? Well, was it was boiling though, right? Yeah, it boiled for like three minutes and apparently only one minute is all you need. Oh God. Uh, I mean, we've done everything we could do, right? I mean, that's just iodine. That coloring? Yeah. That's just iodine. Yeah. So, it'll taste salty, I guess. Like, the only thing, the only step we can go beyond this is full on distilling, right? Yeah, I mean. Or superior filters. It was boiling, right? Yeah. We boiled it, we put the iodine in it, we filtered it twice. Should be fine. I mean, my guess is if we were out in the woods uh, in a survival moment, wouldn't think twice. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so here's the part where we announce that we're not going to drink it. <laughs> is that what we're going to do? No. Uh, we have to. At this point, like, oh, the whole reason we didn't drink the Pruno was because the CDC said you should not drink the Pruno. This time, we did everything that the CDC says to do, so right? we should drink it. Right? All right, here we go. Oh my God, I drank worm infested pond water. Go ahead. <clears throat> 
It's only slightly salty. Mm-hmm. Mm. How, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Mm. Yeah, uh, you're not swallowing, are you? Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got it. You swallow. You swallow. Swallow it. Swallowed it. Okay. I swallowed it. All right. Well, I guess uh, hopefully this is the end of the episode. If not, you'll hear a recording from the emergency room. Oh boy. Mm. Mm. You're drinking more? Mm-hmm. It's a contest now. Not as salty as I would have thought. It actually tastes all right. Yeah, tastes fine. Yeah. Jason, used to be, when I was younger, I would think of the number 52, and I would always think of a deck of cards. Sure, now that I'm over 40, when I think of the number 52, I think about the percentage of men between 40 and 70 who will experience erectile dysfunction at some point. <gasps> it's a cursed number. It doesn't have to be, right? It's like, look, man, I, you're not embarrassed when you go to the auto shop and get the transmission fixed or whatever. So don't be embarrassed about this. Head on over to GetRoman.com slash Rogue. Get $15 off your first month of treatment. Real healthcare professionals right here in the United States. U.S. licensed healthcare professionals can help you, and you don't even have to go to the mechanic. You can do it in the privacy of your own home. I want to point out that we're making maintaining eye contact this entire conversation. I'm proud of how we've grown up as a community. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> Here's what I've tried to say, is there should be no stigma about this. It is a treatable thing. Take care of it. Get back to the business of doing your business. Go to GetRoman.com slash Rogue and get $15 off your first purchase. Free two-day shipping. Yeah, keep us in business too. Also have sex. Offer and link in the description below. You're a passing plane and I'm just trying to get your attention and so I'm like, da -da 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 -da. is that gonna get it? That would get it. Uh, the traditional emergency request message is usually three quick flashes. Oh yeah, that's the SOS, right? Well, you can do SOS and that's totally acceptable, but just three quick flashes is enough.